like a vulture. Well, hello. It's me, Javier Barden again. Welcome to my program. It's Saturday, and you know what that means in Eugene. It's Saturday Market. So come along with us as we explore local artisan goods and crafts and farm fresh produce. Well, we're here with the fresh picked rainbows. They're untouched by human hands, apparently, and I'm not quite sure if they're from a real rainbow. I've never been able to get close to one myself. I've often looked for the gold, but they're quite whimsical and, and as you can see behind me Zoe's having quite a good time oh look at them they wave in the wind they're beautiful look at them wave it's magic yeah Zoe says it's enchanting I quite agree with her oh. Zoe what are your impressions so far of the Saturday market full of Jerry's full of Jerry's well as we have stated before most of the th things we produce in Eugene are full of Jerry's or hippies if you aren't familiar with the term. If you weren't watching last season it was fantastic. Well, I was thoroughly enjoyed myself watching your, your performance. Now what's your name? My name is Zan. Zan. And Zan, where do you learn a trade like this? I like to think of this as the way into my highest potential. So by focusing my attention on the present moment, I can reach places that I couldn't without such dedication. But that's just an example for everyone else, that whatever you want to do, if you take it as far as you can, then you will achieve your own best. So demand more from your own life and never stop searching. That's sound advice, Zen. Can I hold the ball? You may. Oh, it's so light. What's it made from? Acrylic. Acrylic ball. It's fantastic. Now I'm here standing looking at cabbage and leeks. It looks like the ingredients to a fantastic Chinese meal. This one looks like a face to me. You see lips and eyeballs. I don't know. Perhaps the spirit of the Eugene market has gotten too deep into my bloodstream. I'm here at Saturday Market. And I've always wanted a bonsai. They're miniature plants. You can make them into any shape. I could even make a Hello Kitty bonsai favorite cat from Japan. Guy takes the owl home, and later that night, Guy brought a date home. Things got hot and heavy, and suddenly the parrot says, looks like someone's going to get laid tonight. The owl says, hoo, hoo, and the parrot says, not you, you <laughs> That was good. Oh, thank you. All right. It was vulgar, but it was a fantastic joke. I enjoyed it quite a, quite a lot. Frog's tomfoolery amuses me on a daily basis. 